So you what's wanna... what's Crowley up to with Amara? Like, I mean, how? What do you mean, what's he up to? Uncle Crowley. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Uncle Crowley. <laughs> Uncle Crowley. <laughs> Uncle Crowley. <laughs> yeah. Ruth Uncle just Crowley. said it's gonna stick. <laughs> yeah. like, I hope not. <laughs> How long is it going to take for him to regret what he's doing right now? Really? You're going to ask me a time-based question? <laughs> yeah. Let's we see. don't need specific time. Let me see. 46 <laughs> minutes. Uh, how long uh, is he going to regret it? Did, well, thinking about the end of of, uh, of the last episode, <laughs> uh, it looked like he was a little bit worried about what was going on, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I think uh, second episode was such a shock it was such a scary thing to see the, the, the baby morph and and the, it was when the legs went over the side of the crowd it was like no that's just wrong because <laughs> you're expecting a baby and the, the, the growth rate is, is surprising I think people are a little uncomfortable by A the priest's outfit and B um, the creeper van which made it kind of interesting do you feel like he's creating not only a spoiled little girl, but a spoiled little monster? Well, it depends on what your concept of the darkness is, really. Okay. I mean, I'm creating a monster, or is it a monster that I'm attempting to control? I mean, that's really the question. Do you think that he could actually control her? Crowley probably thinks he can. I would think that Crowley thinks he can do anything. <laughs> As has been seen before, and if it doesn't work out well, that would, that would have been part of the plan anyway. <laughs> That's sort of the way Crowley does things. What would be the best case scenario here for him? Crowley? Yeah. Everybody just do exactly what Crowley says. <laughs> get on with it and we'll have a much easier life. Including Amara? Of course. Don't you agree? I mean, if we can have a, an episode about the car, we can have an episode about that. I thought all episodes were about <laughs> that. <laughs> if you really think about it. Um, I think it's... Uh, I think Season 11 is fascinating. It's a great opening. I mean, first two, first two, first three now. Really, really good. But Jensen did a great job. Very informational episode, I think the third episode was, but it still had its, its, its action in it. Really well done. I enjoyed it a lot. Well, Rowena is always a pro. Who? Never heard of her. I know. <laughs> she, she has no affection at all for Crowley. Uh, given their, I mean, it's a complicated relationship at best. Uh, given Crowley's current relationship with the darkness and Amara, how might he be kind of utilizing that weapon against his mother? In any way he probably can, I think. He, I think Crowley is always under the belief that, that that he has control over it, even if things are difficult. But he always believes that he has. Um, he has a purpose and a direction to what it is that he's doing. So, and it's always for the betterment and furtherment of Crowley, which he does believe that everybody else would be a lot happier <laughs> too if they just did what made Crowley happy. But it could be quite a fun way to go. I feel that way personally about most most things in life as well. Yeah. Having children, it's the same thing. So if you just did what I wanted you to do, life would be a lot better. <laughs> Doesn't usually work out that way. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, there was some really fun Crowley and Dean dynamics. <laughs> we, I mean, obviously, they've... A bromance? <laughs> we can call it a bromance for sure. I call it a bromance. Yes, bromance. yes. I'd say every individual person might vary, but if, if you are comfortable with that, that's fantastic. Um, given that dynamic, are you kind of hoping to see some more of that in season 11, even though the state that Dean is in is completely different, or do you kind of feel like that time has come and gone? Look, it ain't over till I say it's over. <laughs> I, I don't know that the dynamic will never be the same. I mean, it seems to be a season of, 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 of the brothers paying for the choices that they made, as, as Jeremy put very well. And, you know, there are consequences to everything now. Is Crowley a benevolent being or a malevolent being? And that's the question you're always going to ask. I think Crowley's always out for Crowley. And it just depends on what the nature of the problem is as to who your allies are, I think. It's the best way of answering it.